hi all welcome again in this new video today i will cover next topic in sap mm that is blanket purchase order so i will cover in this how to create blanket purchase order and how to process its invoicing and rest of stuff before that if you are new on my channel kindly subscribe to my channel and also share video with your sap friends thank you let's see what is exactly bank blanket po means a blanket po is used for purchasing consumables or services from a particular vendor which can be repeatedly procured during a specific time period or frame so it's kind of purchase order where we buy some material that uh, we frequently buy and it's like small price material let's say pen pencil or some files, notebooks, papers, or HR stationery stuff. So that sort of stuff that we require frequently and it has very negligible price. So that sort of material, we create one blanket purchase order. It has particular time frame and it has budget for that particular time frame. So as I told you already, a limited set on blanket purchase order and we can perform multiple invoices against that particular blanket purchase order and if that limit is exceed system will not allow you to create invoice against that blanket purchase order this blanket purchase order is also known as blanket order blanket purchase agreement call of order or framework order so if you come across any of these names it means blanket purchase order only so don't get confused with it now let's see exactly the process flow of blanket purchase order so what i will do i will show you the process flow and same time i will perform the same action in sap screen so let's see one by one so first we need one vendor that i have already created then we create purchase order in me21n but before creating that note that we require document type as a fo fo means framework order then account account assignment category should be k that for against cost center and item category b for blanket or limit now let's see in sap how to create blanket purchase order so i will run t code me21n it's not hard very easy process but still i am creating it because many people find it difficult how to pro perform its invoice so that's why i'm creating so once you go in sap screen here in document search for fo or framework order so here it is framework order select that then provide your vendor or details it's similar like other it's very similar nothing changed in purchase order just document type is different and one more thing once you select framework order go into additional data and provide here your frame time or time frame so here i'm selecting a complete year then as i told you here these two are very important fields in blanket purchase order so this one a means account assignment category it should be k that is against cost center and item category should be b that is limit so here it is b then we won't provide any material detail for blanket purchase order rather we provide short text so i am providing blanket po for 2021 then quantity just provide one then delivery date net price you can provide here one and in limit you can provide original price that you want to set a limit then your plant and storage location just press enter so see this as we have put here b so system edit this tab limits here so we should provide overall limit means how much budget we have for that particular period for this blanket purchase order so for practice i will just put put 100 usd expected value you can put anything i will put same 100 
or maybe let's say last year we used 90 usd so i will put expected 90 so it's depend or you can put one no issue at all once you put limit detail just press enter then system will ask you in this tab account assignment tab gl account and cost center so provide appropriate gl and cost center in your case just press enter then don't forget to go in invoice tab and to maintain tax if you are creating this blanket purchase order for us don't forget to put this jurisdiction tax code in case it's not for us then leave it blank press enter again and check if everything is fine with this purchase order so everything is fine just save it so now i have created this framework purchase order and this is my number so i will just copy it okay then what next so once we have created purchase order in ma21 yen we have that number then next is invoice so note that in case of blanket purchase order we won't create any gr as in when we received that material we directly process that invoice so there is no gr in case of blanket purchase order so how to proceed that so after po i will directly go in miro miro let's see how to do that so i have now my purchase order i will go in new screen and here run t code miro okay so provide date details then references let's say this is first invoice then let's say i have put 100 so right now i am creating blanket purchase order for let's say 80 then tax then calculate tax here provide your purchase order number press enter so system will bring detail from that purchase order so here it is but in case of normal po if we provide the amount here system shows nothing error and it shows green here but in case of blanket purchase order you have to provide price manually so how to provide just go here in right side then you will find this tab account assignment click on it then provide how much amount you want to pay against this invoice so let's say 80 in my case and press back so now you see it's green and it's balanced now you can also change here gl account and all details if you want but in my case i'm not changing so that's it i will save this blanket purchase order sorry blanket invoice so this invoice is created so now what i will do i will again go into po and i will check what purchase order history shows so i'm just opening the same po that i have created here now you see new tab is created so go into purchase order history tab here so we can see one invoice is created still i can use 20 usd but if limit is exceed what system show so we will check that again so i am creating one more invoice again that po let's say now i am creating 25 just 5 5 euro exceeded 5 usd exceeded so let's see what system shows in that case okay again i will go here and i will provide 25 here as amount so system should give me a warning that 25 usd exceeded okay go back so see what system gives me warning the limit 100 euro in po is exceeded so that how blanket purchase order works then once you perform your invoice as usual finance department settle this blanket purchase order so it's very easy topic but you should know how to proceed it 
then summary so what we have seen so it's very simple we have created vendor if it's acc in xk01 we create vendor if it's hana then in bp then we create purchase order but while creating purchase order three things are different we use item category k we use sorry we use account assignment category k item category as a b and document type as a framework order that is fo and we perform invoice but while performing invoice we provide price manually in account assignment category so that's it for today's video in case you have any question you can put in comment section thank you for watching see you in the next video bye